Now we have some uh, some more dervers from Clean Install. We'll install the graphics hardware drivers now. And I came across something else interesting, but it's got a weight, which is this: a BIOS flash utility. But it doesn't seem to want to work. It just says initialization and version NA. Yay! And there's nothing to do to click on or do anything. Ooh, right to left reading order? The hell? It sounds Chinese, so I can't exit that. There is a... disk image to burn to flash the BIOS. I'm not going to bother with that. And this one actually just extracted drivers. So while the um, video driver is going, we can go to uh, whoopsies, go to Device Mangler once again, which is here, and find the wireless, so at least we can get that. That would be Network Controller, not Ethernet. Update, Browse, browse and just to prove once we go to computer and drive C there is a folder marked Dell and that's where it stores all of its servers include subfolders search and installing driver software so when you have the right stuff with an operating system that's designed for the system it actually fucking works so hopefully that should be able to install while the NVIDIA thing is... Oh, it's actually done already. So restart later. That's installed now. See how quick the damn thing works? Now, of course, it's showing that we can't have any networks. There it is. Connect automatically. Connect. And let that do its thing. Home is fine. And we still have all of these. So now... We're going to minimize that, and we'll close this down. That will clear in a moment. This thing I can't get rid of. Whoopsies. Cancel that. This I can't get rid of. Well, actually, there's a caution. Uh, okay. Oh, maybe it will do it now. Yeah. So, Matt never even updated the BIOS on this thing. Now, I really don't like doing BIOS updates, but from A04 to A12, let's go. In all the years he had this thing. I always worry that something's going to crap out, because I have done this you know hundreds and hundreds of times and I have had boards that actually brick themselves doing this they're not supposed to sometimes these take a lot longer than than others some update like really quick and others take a while this seems to be about normal speed and then see it just updating and writing and then it's like what is it doing now what is this updating update EC mean And with any luck, when it goes to reboot, it will have the video drivers in. That's if, and only if, it decides to shut down, which it did. kind of don't like the fact that my flash drive is in there, because sometimes it goes to fuck around with that. We have a screen. Sometimes these actually complete post and then update. Other times we could just run the file again and see if it tells us that you already have the latest version. So it looks like it's in, and it was just that quick or easy. That's because of the flash drive. There we go, see? You gotta know these things. You gotta be quick with it. You have to know, shit, it was just working, why isn't it? Yeah, that's where the experience comes in. I've been doing this way too long. Way too long. So I knew immediately when I saw that, that that was it. In fact, I even mentioned it beforehand. 
There we go, video driver's in. Everything is just plain fucking working. Amazing. Amazing. This is normal. Because this is a brand new install. So obviously, yes, there are going to be updates. I doubt it downloaded any in that very short period of time. So it's probably just because of the dervers that went in. Um, no indication that the BIOS actually completed because that's too much. I actually went and copied the, uh, oh, we got some more stuff coming up, which integrated webcam is now found. Isn't that interesting? So we'll let that search windows update forever. Meanwhile, we'll go in here and run this one again. Run as admin. Yes. Initialization. Do you want to update the BIOS? No, no need to. There it is. A12, A12. We'll hit cancel. That's good. So now there were more drivers, so now we're just going to go ahead and install all of these because I don't know what any of them are. Uh, type driver version AOO for Alienware Notebook M17XR3 Windows 7 you know it doesn't oh it said chipset there finally sometimes they hide the, the name it doesn't even tell you what you're installing you don't even know what the hell you're installing so the Intel chipset has to go in so we'll let that do its thing you can run multiple drivers installation programs at the same time but you have to watch because sometimes they will clash and won't work so there's that that's going this is called speed working on these machines when you just know what the fuck you can do so let those run and here's this thing I don't know what it is it says Intel Intel rapid storage driver so that's what that one is and that looks good and this one's done already we'll hit next finish on that and I don't know if the other one here it is whoop I don't want the Intel Control Center and just go ahead and install that's nice there we go uh, would you like to install this okay Shouldn't it be signed? So we'll let it do its thing. This one's done now. So you can hit that. Now I'll restart later. No, you don't need to restart right away. Here's a USB 3 host driver. I don't know that this actually is equipped with that. If it is, none of the ports have the blue thingamajobber in them. So God only knows if that's going to work. And uh, that's going to go. It still hasn't found the webcam because that's searching Windows Update and you know how long that takes. .NET FX40 has to be installed because one of the other drivers won't install without it, so at least that was included. And here's for the Renaissance USB 3 driver. God only knows if that's actually going to work or if it supports it. .NET is going to want to download, so it needs that. And this is it, and you just keep working it. You can launch yet another one here, Intel HD Graphics. I don't believe the machine is even equipped with that, but hey, what the hell, right? Just go ahead. Anyway, I'm going to continue through these here. Here's another video driver. Um, I don't know if it's newer or older. I'm just installing it. Another thing I like to do is take a copy of this. I copied it from the flash drive to the desktop. We'll copy that while everything is running here. Go to Drive C and just going to paste it there. That shouldn't really take too long to copy. Yeah, it was pretty fucking quick right there. And just rename it Drivers. And just leave it there. Well, unfortunately I can't do that at this moment because I need to restart. Plus there's already a Drivers folder. And that I actually can move into here. We'll just merge them. And this I can't rename until I reboot. Sometimes, it, or no, there we go. 
that's because it was still cached and hadn't been to disk. So we're going to let that go. On the left side you can see three that need the .NET Framework version 4. So we'll just Google that quick. Yeah, I know it's Internet Exploder. It's all it's got. .NET version 4 download for Windows 7. Uh, it's a Microsoft site. That looks good. Oh, good. Get Office. Here it is. Download. Thank you for downloading. Thank you for downloading where? You didn't download. Oh, that's the web installer. I didn't really want that, but just just run, do something. I'm I'm gonna have to go here. This one is probably what I want for Windows 7 SP1. Does this have SP1? Is there a fucking print screen key? There is. Doesn't appear to work. Okay. Does this have Service Pack One installed? Well, sometimes you reach a standstill. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't want to cooperate. Yes, we have Service Pack 1. So that's in. We'll come back here. Now that video driver went in. We'll hit download on that. How about go away? How about I don't want Office 365? You see? Fucking Microsoft... And I did the same shit. That means I gotta use a real browser. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Chrome.google.com <laughs> Download for personal computers. Download Chrome. Uh, yes is the default browser. No, we don't need to do that except an install. And Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Thank you for downloading Chrome. Yay, it's going to work! I love that kind. We'll hit run. Just we're done with. Hopefully. If not, it'll bother me. There we go. We're ready. On your marks. Then it's going to download and do its shit. Video driver is still installing. While we're waiting, let's see if that Windows print screen shit works again. I mean, Windows pause. What the hell am I talking about? And here, oh, look at that. All the drivers are in. So just wait for that video driver to finish. Chrome is going. We'll get uh, .NET 4. Install those three. Come back after that. Oh, Windows Update was even nice and found an update that it needed to install even though it just needed that kind. Whoopsies. Move over there so I can close you. We'll restart later. We're getting the Windows Performance Index just for shits. I got all the other things installed. This I gotta delete if it'll allow me to. It was open before. No, it's good. So we can empty that now. And we're just waiting on that. While that's waiting, we will go to Google Chrome, which hopefully will launch. It does run a bit slow when that experience index thing is going. I mean, Chrome ran before. Here he is. And we need a couple of things. One is portable update because I don't rely on Windows Update anymore. Um, yeah, that's all good. And uh, we just gotta find where to download said program. Download. Click here to download. I like that kind. Port up.zip. Save link as. 
that's fine put it right on the desktop save while we have this open we'll also get team viewer and we will install that because pretty much after this as soon as we get the experience index numbers um, we're done the rest is just a matter of installing the personal applications that I use you can see that the machine is running great uh, we're gonna set it up to run remotely personal show advanced and yes and this can be closed now we don't need any of that crap let that go and it came up with a 5.9 and if you can see it's 7.4, 7.6, 7.1, 7.1, and 5.9. You throw an SSD in here, it'll probably outblaze just about friggin' everything. Anyway, I'm all set here. I'm just gonna get this set with Team Viewer, and pretty much that's it. You see how it runs, folks. Proof in the pudding. Once again, there. Now it just plain fucking works. It's all you need. It does what you want it to do when you tell it to do it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.